When we divide something, we share it out into equal parts, like this. We can share out any quantity, but it always has to be a fair share. Each group has to have the same amount. This is the math sign for division. We read it as divided by. So we would read this as 15 divided by 3. Let's look at how it works. I have 15 candies. They will be divided between three people. Sharing equally, each person gets five candies. Division is the opposite or inverse of multiplication. They are always connected. If you know the answer to a multiplication question, you can work out the division from it. Here's a great strategy we can use. When we multiply or divide, we can use an array to help us. An array is a group of objects set out in rows and columns so they are easy to count. This array has two rows and three columns. You can count it and see six. And you can multiply any array out. Two rows times three columns is six. If we have the question six divided by three, we are making groups of three. You can see we get two groups of three. Six divided by three is two. If our question is six divided by two, we are making groups of two. You can see we get three groups of two. Six divided by two is three. Let's try a slightly bigger array. Three rows times four columns is 12. If we have the question 12 divided by 4, we are making groups of 4. You can see we get three groups of 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. If we have the question 12 divided by 3, we are making groups of 3. You can see we get four groups of 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Here's another array. Three rows times six columns is 18. If we have the question 18 divided by 6, we are making groups of 6. There are three lots of 6 in 18, and 18 divided by 6 is 3. If the question was 18 divided by 3, we would make groups of 3. There are six groups of three in 18. So 18 divided by three is six. I hope you can see how you can use an array to help you with division and use your times table knowledge to help you too. Mm -hmm.